Not that easy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this lady, this lady uh, uh, is, is accustomed to speaking because she's in Toastmasters, but this is a totally different discipline, and I've had very few of that group come through. Welcome Nadine Noki. Let her hear it, Nadine. <laughs> So I'm not like most comedians. I, I'm not depressed. I don't have a drug problem. And I don't have a penis. But my bad credit makes up for it. Not only that, but most comedians are so starved for attention, will do anything to get it. And looks like you're all getting what you paid for tonight which isn't very much. <laughs> you ever get anything you didn't pay for? Like hemorrhoids? An STD? Or kids? I have a kid, he's 12, and I know what some of you guys are thinking. Dang, she must have been like 16 and pregnant. I was eight. We moved here specifically to go to Osprey, Florida, so my son could attend a gifted school. And I'm pretty sure in any other state, that's just a normal school. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm pretty sure also as well that most parents do think their kids are gifted when they're white. <laughs> oh, too far on that one. <laughs> He is really smart for Florida. <laughs> he always tells me these like sciencey and math things and it's really cool, but then he also tells me things I understand, like jokes. And the other day he tells me a joke, he goes, Mom, so this dyslexic walks into a bra. <laughs> it, it took some of you guys a little longer. <laughs> So I didn't join the PTA because I'm pretty sure they have an age restriction. The last time I was on campus, they asked to see my hall pass. <laughs> so kids are kind of interesting because they are like cars, and I'm not talking about driving them. That's gross, and that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm talking about, they're like new cars. Like when you get a new car, you drive it off the lot, and you're like, okay, I don't want to break it. I'm going to give it premium fuel. I'm going to take it in for checkups, and everything's going to be great. But the older it gets, the more it costs to maintain. <laughs> it starts acting up. <laughs> you start threatening it. <laughs> Tell them you're going to trade it in for a newer model. And the worst part, though, is when the warranty goes, you're like, please don't break down, please don't break down, please don't break down on my lawn and stay there for the next 30 years. <laughs> so I am worried, like most parents, that things are going to go wrong. Like, uh, he's going to grow up and live on my sun porch because we don't have basements here. <sighs> <laughs> he's going to grow up, you know, every parent is worried that he's going to be a sociopath and or the president. But I love parenting, I think it's awesome, I really love it, but I'm a single mom, so that makes it hard to have more kids. So I got this big idea in my head that I'm gonna adopt. That's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna have a sibling for my son, He's gonna, I'm gonna be able to provide a loving home, and then if anything goes wrong, I will be able to have a backup plan for when I retire. But the best part is they're kind of like used cars. If I do anything wrong, I can just blame the previous owners. <laughs> so, like I said, I am single, and that sucks. Um, <laughs> no, does it? No? Okay. Um, but you have to go on all these you know, dating apps like Tinder and Bumble, and I'd like to thank all my Bumble matches for coming out tonight. Woo! You guys must be desperate as fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, so am I. <laughs> so I am on these apps, and if you don't know, like Tinder and Bumble, you just swipe. 
And you know, it's all based on looks, which means I have to work out. Because <laughs> that's all I have going for me now. <sighs> but I mean, you are just judged on your looks and that's all I have. I mean, if a guy calls his mom up and he's like, I met this really great girl. She's awesome in every way. I mean, she's a single mom, she's a comedian, and she has bad credit. <laughs> Thanks everybody, have a great night. Now, 